The 80s glam metal band Motley Crue has been a controversial band to discuss. While they undoubtedly produced incredible songs and huge hits, they have also been the subject of many scandals, you name it. Specifically, more recently, when they forced guitarist Mick Mars out of the band when he said he could no longer tour due to his painful arthritic condition. Mars had been in the band for over 40 years when he was forced out, and the crew is now involved in legal proceedings with Mars over these events. Things like this cause many other bands from the same or different eras to openly show their distaste for the band. Take Gene Simmons, for example, who has a well-known rivalry with Motley Crue bassist Nikki Six. However, we don't think anyone expected the next Motley Crue hater in line to be Eddie Vedder, the frontman for the band Pearl Jam. Vedder has been with Pearl Jam for 30 years, noticeably a similar time span to how long Motley Crue has been together. So after sharing the music scene with the same band for so long, tensions are bound to rise. Eddie Vedder has achieved a lot in his own right, proving to be an intelligent songwriter time and time again. Writing hits like Even Flo and Jeremy, Eddie Vedder has said before himself that he is not afraid to openly tell the press and media what he likes and doesn't like in the music scene. As you will soon see, he very clearly hates the band Motley Crue. Eddie Vedder used to be very close with Nirvana and specifically the band's frontman, Kurt Cobain and the pair often openly dissed Motley Crue and their general style and air, saying the musical era was, quote, the grossest era in music history. While speaking to the New York Times in 2022, Vetter explained his thoughts about the glam metal era, explaining, quote, You know, I used to work in San Diego loading gear at a club. I'd end up being at shows that I wouldn't have chosen to go to from bands that monopolized late 1980s MTV, the metal bands that, I'm trying to be nice, I despised. Notably, Motley Crue is from California, and that is where they got their big start. So while not openly calling out the band yet, Vetter is already alluding to the fact that he hated the way bands like Motley Crue monopolized the music industry. However, the next thing he would say would openly call out Motley Crue. Eddie Vedder told the Times, quote, Girls, 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 and Motley Crue, I hated it. I hated how it made the fellows look. I hated how it made the women look. It felt so vicacious. Guns N' Roses came out and, thank God, at least had some teeth. Basically, what Vedder is explaining here is that he hates the way Motley Crue objectifies women. Specifically, naming the Motley Crue song, Girls, 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 as an example, as the song is about gentlemen's clubs. Nikki Six did not take very kindly to Eddie Vedder calling out his band, firing back on Twitter, quote, made me laugh today, reading how much the singer in Pearl Jam hated Motley Crue. Now, considering that they're one of the most boring bands in history, it's kind of a compliment, isn't it? While being known for starting drama and feuds, this response is not very out of the ordinary for Six, basically saying Vedder complimented his band because Pearl Jam is, according to Six, one of the most boring bands in history. What do you think about Eddie Vedder calling out Motley Crue and generally the 80s music scene in general? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.